Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. We are continuing on with my makeup collection and declutter series. In today's video, we are gonna be talking about blush. I'm gonna be going over all of my cream and powder blushes. I did already talk about blush palettes in my face palette video, so if you wanna see my blush palettes, it'll be in that video. But in this video, we're talking about individual cream, liquid, and powder blushes. I'm super excited to go through these. I have a surplus of blush, and as much as I love blush, it needs to get condensed for sure. At this point, I've already done multiple videos in the series. I don't know which order things are going up in, but you can check my channel to see the previous videos and there are more coming, so just stay tuned. Before we hop into this video though, I did of course film this look. I film every look you see on camera. It should already be up on my channel by the time this video goes up. It is part of my two looks video with the Beauty Bay Age of Opulence palette. And let me just give you my jewelry details before I forget. My plugs today are from Herodo Evil Jewelry on Etsy. You can use my non-affiliated discount code BattyBean for 10% off. My necklace today is from Shop Sun & Co. You can use my affiliate code, Batty Bean, to save 10% off. And I don't know where this hat's from because I've had it a very long time. It's probably Target or Amazon. So yeah, without further ado, let's just hop in and do some decluttering. All right, hello. We are getting into my single blushes and I am excited, but I'm also nervous because I have so many to go through. We have 106 total blushes to go through between powders and creams in a pot and creams in a stick form and liquids and serums. It's a lot, it is so many, and this isn't even including my blush palettes, which were in the previous video. I did a separate bronzer slash face palette video, but I do have my blush palettes here next to me just so I can reference them because in that video, I said I was gonna use some of these as kind of a reference point to compare if I had something similar because if I had a single that was similar to something in one of these blush palettes, I was probably just gonna keep the blush palette and not the single because that just makes sense in my brain. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing my absolute best to kind of explain my thoughts as thoroughly as possible, but we are gonna be here for 5 million years if I give you every single thought that goes through my brain during this process. Basically what I'm gonna do is whenever I get to a specific category, I'm gonna show you my favorite things first and then I will kind of branch off into different things and kind of do my comparisons. I will show swatch comparisons, but it'll probably be after I've already made decisions if that makes sense. This probably doesn't make any sense at all. I'm a little bit rambly, but hopefully it'll make sense when the video happens. I have kind of a process in my brain. I know we all will have a different way of doing things. This is gonna be my way of doing things to kind of narrow down what I like. I kind of like to figure out which formulas I like the best first, like from which brands, and then I kind of go through and compare colors. Especially because in this case, I have so many blushes, I don't even know what I have similar things to, so I really do need to start by brand and dwindle it down that way, and then I can start comparing within the brands. Let's get into the disclaimers though before we get into it. If I happen to declutter your favorite blush of all time, please do not get offended. We all have different preferences and I'm gonna try to be pretty brutal. I would honestly like to at least take half of this away, if not more. I have way too many. I don't even know what I use. I find myself using the same thing over and over because I'm too overwhelmed to pick something new, if I'm being honest with you. Second, please do not ask me to send you anything I'm very weird about giving used makeup to people I don't know. It makes me uncomfortable. I give dibs to my friends and family. And finally, please do not feel pressured to declutter your collection. If that is not what's right for you, it is just what's right for me. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get into it. We are going to be going through 106 blushes. I think we're gonna start with my powders and then work through the creams. The powders is gonna be the most daunting. I have 42 of those. All right, kicking it off with my Odin's Eye ones. I'm kind of placing my hands on these mirrors so they don't blind you. We have the fruit blushers up here. These are the ones that have more of a matte finish. And the flower blushers are down here. They have more of a satiny, shimmery finish. I love all of these and they're all vastly different. Odin's Eye blushes are some of my favorite blushes in my entire collection. So I am certain that I'm keeping all of these. I am gonna really quick just off camera see if I have anything super, super similar in palettes. Honestly, unless it's an exact dupe, I'm gonna keep all of these, but this is gonna be my starting point. I know I love these blushes, so I'll be able to start cutting through my millions of ColourPop and other random things to figure out what I already have that is similar so I can go from there, but I love all of these blushes. I have all six of them and they are all amazing. My absolute favorites are Little Jasmine, the flower one, and Apricot Girl, the fruit one. They're all amazing and beautiful. So none of these were exact dupes within my palettes. There were a couple things that were similar-ish, but nothing was an exact dupe, so I am keeping all six of these, and I'm gonna just kind of keep them in front of me here so I can reference them going forward to help kind of compare and see what is similar. And again, if something is like a dupe, I will show you, but I'm not gonna show you my entire process because we will be here for five million years. This is mostly just to show you what my collection is and what I'm decluttering and what I'm keeping. So partially doing this for you, but I'm mostly 
mostly doing this for me because I really do need to declutter my collection. So I thought next we could work on some of these ColourPop ones because I do really like what's inside of these, so I wanna see what's too similar. This one right here is Crossroads, which I love so much. This packaging is getting so nasty because it's very well loved, and this is not similar to any of the Odin's Eye ones, so as of right now, I'm keeping this one. And these two are Out of Sight and Foxy. I really do like both of these, but I find I don't really use Foxy right here too often, this lighter orangey shade, but I do love the Out of Sight one right here. So as of right now, I'm gonna keep Out of Sight and declutter Foxy. Next, let's talk about the blushes that are in the little heart-shaped components from ColourPop. I figure we just get ColourPop out of the way first, by the way. So we have this one right here called Kiss and Tell. I feel like this actually might be similar to Crossroads, so I'm gonna check that really quick. I feel like my hand is gonna start looking so irritated from all my swatching, so just bear with me. Uh, this one's Kiss and Tell, and this one is Crossroads. They're not the exact same, but I think they're similar enough that I don't need to keep the heart-shaped one. And I like the warmth that this one offers more than the like almost fleshy tone <laughs> that this one offers. And then these ones are Love Me Not In My Type, and they're very cute. The heart-shaped packaging is definitely sucking me in and making me want to keep them, but I do have a very bright red in my Likely Makeup Clown Blush palette, and I also have bright pinks in my Likely Makeup Clown Blush and Fairy Blush palettes. I don't know if they're exact dupes. I honestly don't really need to know. These aren't colors I use on my cheeks very often anyways as far as like reds and bright pinks, so I think because I already have great ones, I don't need to keep these ones kicking around. So all three of the heart-shaped ones are going to a friend. I have this one called Petal Pusher that I don't think I need to keep either. Again, I don't even need to swatch compare, but I know for a fact I have a lavender in my Fairy Blush palette, which is definitely different, but I also have kind of cool toned pinks in my Menagerie Blush palette, so I don't think I need to keep this one. Again, this is not a type of shade that I wear very often, so I think the ones that I have in that kind of realm will do me fine. I don't need to keep this one, but this is a very cute color. This one, as of right now, I might keep. It's very pretty. It's from the Sailor Moon collection called Cat's Eye. One, I love the cat embossing. It's so stinking cute, and I love the shimmer that this one offers. I'm unsure about this one. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile and revisit it later because I don't know if I wanna keep it or not. I'm unsure, so it's going in the maybe pile. So next we have Delish right here, and you are Magnifico from the Lizzie McGuire collection. Again, I don't think I need to keep the cool tone pink one, even though this does have shimmer and my other cool tone pinks do not. I just, again, don't reach for them very often. So I think I'm gonna pass this one along, and I kinda wanna keep this one, but how similar is it to the Sailor Moon one? Not quite the same, very different undertones of pink. So as of right now, these are both going in the maybe pile. All right, so next from the the Powerpuff Girls collection, we have Fighting Crime and Saving the World. I I feel like this one right here, the Saving the World one, gives me Apricot Girls vibes from Odin's Eye very heavily. I'm looking at them right now. They're probably not the exact same, but I don't feel the need to swatch compare them because they give me a similar enough vibe, so I think I can pass on this one. And as far as this bright pink goes, I just don't know if I need to keep this one. It's again, not really a color I use too often, but it is pretty unique. I don't know if I have anything else that I've seen so far that's like this, so I'm gonna put this one in the maybe pile as well, just in case I need it later. Because <laughs> on one hand, while I do want to condense my collection down so I can get more use out of specific things. I also do like having a variety, you know. Next from the Hello Kitty Tropical Collection, we have Island Shine and Aloha Honey. Aloha Honey is one of my favorite blushes in my whole collection. I love this bright, poppy, punchy coral. I'm definitely keeping this one 100%. This one I'm unsure about. It's again, just another one of those kind of brighter pinks that's just a little bit more of like a neutral pink. Like I like my pinks to have warmth in them. As you can tell, I don't love a cool tone pink super often. I just don't know if I need this one. I think I can probably go ahead and put this one in the declutter pile. All right, and now the Animal Crossing collection. This is Flower Tender and this is Flower Power. Flower Power actually resembles the Sweet Peach one from Odin's Eye very much. I'm looking at them together. Again, they're not exactly the same, but it's the same vibe, the cool toneness. If anything, this one's a little bit frostier, which I don't love. I do like Flower Tender, but I don't know if I need it, just considering I'm putting a lot of like quarterly things in my keep list. This one also kind of gives me Apricot Girl vibes. I think I'll put this one in the maybe pile because I do enjoy this shade. I'll kind of decide at the end. All right, from last year's winter Hello Kitty collection, we have At Frost Sight and Bundled Up. At Frost Sight, I don't need to keep. It's that frosty, cool tone pink that isn't my favorite thing on the planet. I don't hate it. I just don't need a surplus of it. You know what I mean? So I think I can pass this one along. Um, as far as this one goes, it's very cute, but I don't know if I need it. I'm fairly certain I have other things in my collection similar. Oh, it's so tough because I also love the packaging of this, but I can't keep something just for the packaging. Mm, I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile just to see how similar it is to other things at the end. <laughs> All right, next we have Take the Cake and Truffle Shuffle from the Cloud Spun collection. These actually remind me a lot of my Lunar Beauty Moon Prism palette. 
Again, I don't feel the need to really swatch them right now. It just gives me those vibes. So I think because it gives me those vibes, I need to just go ahead and go with my gut and pass these along because I don't need them. You know what I mean? My Jet Set and Trippin' Blushes from the Wild Child Collection. I love these. I'm definitely keeping both of them. Trippin' in particular is just such a beautiful, cozy, toasty brown. I love a brown blush and these are amazing. I'm definitely keeping them. So now from the Wild Orchid Collection, we have Potted and Just My Pluck. Again, Just My Pluck, it's kind of that cool toned pink-ish, lavender-ish kind of color. And this reminds me a lot of one that's in my Menagerie palette, so I don't need to keep it. I really do like Potted though. I really like this kind of rich, darker mauve tone. It's really, really yummy. And I don't really see anything super, super similar to it in front of me. Maybe a little bit. I don't know, I think I like this one. I think I'm gonna keep it. Well, I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile so I can compare later since I'm not 100% sure. If something isn't making me feel certain right away, then I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile. Next are Catch My Vibe and Coast to Coast. These are actually the last powder ones from ColourPop. I literally don't even remember what collection these came from. I think it was one like a year and a half or more ago. And you know, these ones aren't sparking joy. They remind me a lot of what I can find in my Lunar Beauty palette again. So I think I can just go ahead and pass these ones along. They're cute, but I don't need like a million repeats. Melt Cosmetics, I'm definitely keeping both of these. Oh my gosh, I just realized I also ordered two cream blush lights from Melt Cosmetics on Black Friday. They're not here yet as of this moment, but I need to adjust my totals to include two more because those are being kept. I'm losing my mind. But anyways, this is one of the duo blushes in the shade Buzzkill. I love this. It's so glowy and so fantastic and I'm 100,000% keeping it. And same with this one called Genesis. It's technically a highlight, but I use it as a blush. It is the most beautiful peachy gold. I will even show you because this one is just to die for. Like what? Look how pretty that is. It's literally magic. I love this and I'm 1000% keeping it. I will say though, it's probably really similar to the Soleil shade in the Lunar Beauty palette. Actually, you know what? I can justify that those are different. The Lunar Beauty one is much more pink, less peachy coral, so. Sweet, no dupe there. <laughs> Next are these Kaleidos Low Fly, Low Fly, I can never say this, Low Fi Blushers. <laughs> we have Low Fi Peach and Low Fi Rose. These are not available anymore. I do hope they re-release these at some point because I thought they were really pretty and I really liked the kind of blush highlighty duo. However, I really haven't been reaching for these very much and I think the blushes themselves are ones that I can find like in my Lunar Beauty palette or amongst other things that I'm keeping like from Odin's Eye. The highlighty shades are cute but I don't think they're like used enough by me that I need to keep these just for the highlights and I'm sure I have similar things. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass these ones along. This is one of the Elf Face Duos in the shade Spiced Apple. It's a very lovely warm terracotta shade. The highlight does not work for me though so I would only be keeping this for the blush and I only kept it for the blush last year. However, I feel like I have quite the collection of terracotta blushes so I don't need to keep it just for that reason. Ugh, this one I love. This is my Natasha Denona Mini Bloom Blush. It's so pretty and bright and I just love I love it, I love how shiny it is, and I definitely do wanna keep this one. This one sparks all the joy. <laughs> this is from Alien Cosmetics. It's in the shade Gigi. Ooh, I love this one as well. How similar is this to Potted? I feel like similar but different at the same time. Um, I really do like Gigi, and I don't think I have anything that I've kept so far that is super, super similar to this, so I think I wanna keep it. I really enjoyed this formula from Alien Cosmetics, although they're gonna be called Unearthly Cosmetics soon, I believe. I think that's their new name. So formerly known as Alien Cosmetics. I just got these two as subscriber gifts super recently. This one is called Wanderlust from Buxom. It looks like that, just a really pretty toasty brown color. And it's a little bit more on the cool tone side, which I can approve of if it's not pink. <laughs> I don't mind this kind of a color because it's kind of like a mauvey brown. It's really pretty. And this one is called So Taupe. It's a really pretty cool toned brown as well. Very unique to my collection. I don't really have things similar to this. I don't really keep a lot of cool toned browns on deck. And I think these are quite lovely. So I'm going to keep these ones around because they're fairly unique. And finally, last powder blush to talk about. This is the Be Perfect Cosmetics Scorched Blush in the shade Melt. I love this. I've been using this one nonstop. This one, it just has a really pretty pink glow. It's so bright and so pretty, and it makes your skin look so glowy and smooth. I love this. I even wanna pick up more shades in this particular formula. So now I'm just gonna hop off camera and do my little comparisons with the ones in my maybe pile, and then I will give you my total so far, and then we will move on to the next category. Okay, so just to quickly update, Flower Tender right here, I feel like is similar enough to my Aether Beauty palette as well as also kind of my um, 
Odin's Eye one. Some of my fruit ones are very similar. Not exact dupes, but similar enough that I can pass along Flower Tender. As much as I love the packaging, the little Animal Crossing is so cute, but I can't keep it for packaging. I just can't do it. And you know, out of these remaining five, I actually found them to all be pretty unique to what I already have in palettes and what I'm keeping. So I guess I'll keep all of these bundled up. The Fighting Crime, Potted, Cat's Eye, and also your Magnifico. Although I, I feel like I don't need both of these. They're definitely different, but I just feel like I don't need both. I don't know how to explain it. Part of me wants to keep the Lizzie McGuire one actually, because even though this is a little bit more cool tone than this one, it's not like super cool toned. And also I feel like I have similar enough things to this one because I love that kind of coral feel. So I think I'll keep this one because it's a little bit more unique. All right, we actually did pretty good with that. We started with 42 powders. I'm keeping 22 and I decluttered 20. So I kind of halved it and I'm pretty happy with this because I feel like I have a really good idea of what I own now, which is really exciting. I think next let's do my cream pots, like the ones that are in pot form or just creams in general that aren't like sticks or liquids. There's 30 of those, so quite a bit of those as well, but I think that would be a smart one to go through next. So kind of similar to before, I do kind of want to just start with a category and figure out what I have similar, and I'm going to kind of break that down with each like brand, and then I will cross-reference and see if I'm keeping things that are too similar. So these are my ColourPop Super Shock Cheeks. These are kind of like a weird putty to powder formula, so these aren't like a true cream. These are kind of their own unique thing, so I don't think I'll really need to compare these too much to other things because they are pretty unique. Um, but I do think I can condense this down a little bit. I have some things that are pretty similar like these two and these two. I have some things I can work through. Let's go over the ones that are unique though. This one is called Chiffon. This one's almost more of a highlight blush hybrid. It's really, really pretty. It just has such a beautiful like shift and sheen to it. I love this one, very unique. And then same to this one. This one is called Cheerio. It's just such a beautiful shimmery plummy shade and it's so rich and delicious and I don't have a ton of things like this and I love a deep pigmented blush. So this one's gonna be kept as well. Ah, huh, let's see. This is kind of where things start looking similar, huh? Let's compare these two bright pinks really quick. We have Magic Moon and we also have Georgette. So these two are actually very, fairly different. We have Magic Moon here and Georgette right there. Magic Moon has that sheen and they're a slightly different shade of pink. Part of me wants to say I don't need either actually because I feel like I'm gonna have some corally shades coming up in my other creams. So I don't think I want any of them actually. It's funny how sometimes I'm trying to like preserve one but then in doing so I end up deciding I don't want anything. <laughs> I suppose Cruel Intentions is pretty different. It's more of just like that, just kind of rich berry tone but not as dark as like one of the other ones I mentioned earlier. It's really pretty though. Do I need it? That's the question. I don't know if I need it actually. You know, I feel what I'm realizing with these Super Shocks is I really only like the ones that have more of like a shiny finish. I don't like the matte ones as much, so that'll help me. I think Jolly from ColourPop can go. I've had this one quite a while, so I think I can let this one go. I don't even really need to compare it to these other three because I just don't really want it. Let's do some comparisons. So they are all kind of different actually, but I think that the ones that I like the most are actually these first two. I like Brute Flute and I like the, what's this one called, Darling. I like this one as well, but I just don't know if I need it as much. You know, I also don't even know if I need Brute Flute. Part of me only wants to keep the Tinkerbell one. This is a tough decision, but I also kind of like this one more. Let me debate real quick. Okay, after all of that back and forth, I think I decided that I will probably use this uh, Voil one the most. So I think I'm gonna keep this one and declutter the other two. We're doing good. All right, next we have the putty blushes from e.l.f. Oh, this is gonna be so tough because I truly love all of them. Okay, so I have eight. What you see is what you get with these, so I don't really feel the need to swatch them. They literally look exactly how they look in the pot. Oh, this is tough. I think this one's one of my favorites. Yeah, Bali, I love Bali. I find that these actually blend really beautifully on the skin and they just have such a beautiful finish. They're not like overly matte, but they're not dewy either. They're just, they look good. I don't know how to explain it. I love Bali though. This is my favorite one, so I'm definitely keeping it. I don't think I need to keep this bright pink because I do have a bright pink from Glossier that I'm gonna be keeping later on. Um, and even though it's a different formula, I just don't need an, a surplus of bright pink. So I'll pass along this one called Bora Bora. This one's Fiji and I love it. I feel like a lot of these look like I don't use them 
them, but they just, I guess, mold back to their position really well. Um, I really do like Fiji. This bright red is very cute, but it's not like too red either. I don't think I need to keep Maldives. I just think I have plenty of other things that I'm reaching for. And I think I would use Bali over this one. And even though they're not the same shade, I just don't know how often I'll use this one. Plus I have a dark brown red that I'm gonna talk about here in a minute um, that I think I'll use more than this one. All right, the final four. I think this pale apricot one, Turks and Caicos. I do like this one a lot. It's so tough to make these decisions sometimes. I think out of these four Turks and Caicos I wanna keep. And I think because of that I can pass along Bahamas. They're not exactly the same, but a similar enough vibe. I also don't think I need Caribbean. I just think that I have like a super shock that I kept that's similar enough and I just don't reach for like a purple blush too often. It's not straight up purple, but it has more of a purple undertone. And Tahiti. It's a really pretty kind of neutral pink. I do like Tahiti, I think I'll keep it. These are just some miscellaneous ones. This is the Illamasqua Color Veil in the shade Tonic, and I think with a couple of those putty ones from e.l.f. I kept, I don't really need to keep this one. This one's kind of like a serum, but in a pot. It's very liquidy, um, and it, it was doing fine for me. I just don't love it enough to keep it. This one, however, is super cute. It's called Golden Hour from Tower 28, and I love this one. It has a little bit more of a burnt orange kind of aspect, but it's not incredibly dark either. I love this, and I'm definitely keeping it. Next, I have my Rare Beauty ones. Nearly Neutral is my favorite. Where is that? I love these melting blushes, and I know Nearly Neutral looks kind of boring, but it's beautiful. It just looks so lovely on the cheeks, and these truly do melt into your complexion products so beautifully. It's gonna be hard not to keep all of these, honestly. This one is nearly berry, and while I do like it, I feel like I kept a couple putty blushes that were a similar-ish vibe, and again, I have some other dark ones, so I think I can pass this one along. So here we have nearly mauve, nearly apricot, and nearly rose. It's so hard to show this packaging on camera because it's so reflective. I don't know which ones to keep. I also kind of want to keep that berry one. Part of me wants to keep all five of these because I just truly love this formula so much. It's one of my favorites. Am I about to piggyback and undeclutter one? Because I like these two because they just blend so seamlessly into the skin. I honestly think I'll get use out of all of them if I keep them all. So I'm keeping all five. I can do whatever I want, it's my house. <laughs> and finally, just in that like cream family that's not a stick or like a serum or a liquid, um, I have the Color Wash Duos from Kai Love, formerly known as Musse Beauty. So these are the ones from the Rococo collection on this side, and these are the two from the Impressionism collection. It's so tough because I really love them all. Mmm, I don't even know. I really do love this one right here, the exuberance and soft one. I love this dark apple red with the bright shimmery orange. It's so, so pretty, so I do want to keep this one. I think this one, Modernity in Paris, up top, I don't get enough use out of this one. It's a really pretty kind of deep plum and then metallic-y kind of rosy, warm, burnt shade. It's really pretty. I just don't use this one enough, so I think I'm gonna pass this one along. Then we add the two light ones. I think if I'm being honest with myself, the one from the Rococo collection I like more, Youth and Play over Timeless and Daydream. I just love this corally shade with the bright orange. I love an orangey blush. I love a corally blush. And this one down here, Timeless specifically, I don't love as much. Like if Daydream was by itself, I would probably keep it, but I don't love Timeless as much. So I think I'll keep this Rococo one and pass along the impressionism. Okay, so out of 30, which this does include the two melt blushes that I haven't gotten in the mail yet because I just purchased them yesterday. They're the two cream ones that I'm very excited about. I don't remember the names off the top of my head, um, but I'll definitely use them and show you once I have them in the mail. Um, but out of 30, including those that I do not have yet, I'm keeping 17 and decluttering 13. So I think I did pretty good there. We kind of half did as well. So we are continuing on a good path. Next, let's do the sticks because I feel like the sticks kind of piggyback off of what we just talked about really nicely. So we have 18 of those to talk about and then we will get into the final liquids and serums. All right, moving on to sticks. We have 18 to talk about. We're gonna start with just these, my ColourPop blush sticks, because I love, love, love my blush sticks with my whole heart, specifically the three from the Lemoncello collection. So this is definitely gonna be a basis on what I end up keeping because if I have anything similar to these, I don't need to keep them because these are my favorite ones by far. This one here is Coastal Drive, which is my absolute favorite, just a beautiful kind of neutral brown. Actually, I take that back. I'm pretty sure Cottage Life is my favorite. It's a little bit lighter, a little bit more terracotta. And this one is Picnic Time, a beautiful, bright, kind of corally pink. So these three I'm for sure keeping. Now I just need to compare the rest of these. Another one I'm for sure keeping is Winona Forever. It is the most beautiful, dark, yummy warm brown. I bought myself this recently and I love it. So these four over here are the ones that I'm for sure keeping. Now we just need to do some comparisons. 
I don't even feel the need to swatch these because these also just kind of look like what you see. Um, under pressure right here in the middle, it looks very similar to Picnic Time, so I don't think I need to keep under pressure. And then honestly, Splash and Mini Me right here look very similar to each other. Like they're not exactly the same, but if I had to pick just one, I think I'd pick Mini Me because I feel like Splash blended on the cheeks could also look a little bit more similar to the Picnic Time one. So I think I can get rid of Splash and keep Mini Me. Mini Me has actually been a favorite for years, honestly. And then out of these three brown ones, these are from the Lucky Penny collection. I honestly don't think I need to keep any of them. I just feel like they give me such similar vibes to the brown ones that I'm keeping from the Lemoncello that I just, I don't need them. So I'm gonna pass them along. I'm gonna keep these five and get rid of these ones. Okay, so I'm actually just gonna keep the five that I wanna keep out so I can compare them to my milk sticks. Uh, these are all minis, they're very cute. I feel like this one right here called Perk, while it's super cute, I feel like it also just gives me picnic time vibes. It's a little bit more corally, but I don't think I need to keep it. This bright red I do think is really fun. Um, I think I might keep this one, it's called Flip. This kind of smushed pink one right here called Dash really reminds me of Mini Me from ColourPop, and I do think I prefer the ColourPop stick formula a little bit more. So I think I will pass along this one. The last we just have Swerve and Work. I really like both of them and they're kind of different than what I'm keeping. Work is a little bit more of that neutral pink and this one's kind of that yummy warm terracotta, but I feel like it's more terracotta than the sticks that I'm keeping. I think I'll keep these two after I spill them everywhere. And the last sticks are my Pixie On The Glow blush sticks. These are very, very glowy. They're very pretty. They're different than the other sticks I just talked about because these have that beautiful glow to them. I definitely want to keep the orange one called Juicy. This one is just such a beautiful, juicy, dewy orange, and I love it. You know, I think I might keep this one Ruby over that red milk one I talked about because I would prefer the dewy finish, and this one's quite lovely. So I think I'm gonna keep this one and declutter that red one from milk. And then this pink one called Fleur is fine. I don't really have any qualms with it. I just feel like I'm already keeping some pinky things, for instance, even from Rare Beauty in that melting blush formula, so I don't think I need to keep this one. Well, we did pretty good there too. I'm keeping nine and decluttering nine, so we are doing great. Last but not least, we're gonna do my liquids and serums. Let's just go ahead and start with a big declutter. These are the Cheek Dews from ColourPop and they're just not my favorite. Some of them I like more than others, like these red ones from the Cherry Collection were nicer than some of the other ones I tried or even the ones from the Lush Life Collection were nicer. The original ones were just not it for me and I don't know. I just feel like they need a little more pigmentation. Like I'm fine with a very glowy, dewy cheek but I want more pigment to them and these are just very sheer and I find I have to build them up a lot to even get some payoff. So these are just not my favorite things so I don't really wanna keep them around anymore. I think my friends will enjoy them more than I will. So there we go, nine of them already decluttered. That's half of my serums. These, however, I'm keeping all of. I have two of the Milani liquid blushes and three of the Glossier cloud paints. I have Beam, Puff, and Dawn. I love all of them. It's a beautiful light peachy shade, a cute pink, and then more of a brighter orangey coral. Love them so much. And then same with Milani. We have Nude Flush, which is a beautiful neutral brown, and Rose Romance, which is a very nice kind of vibrant pink, but it's a little bit darker. It's not like hot pink. I love all five of these. I've used them so many times and I'm definitely keeping them. And finally, last but not least, some of the liquid blushes from Rare Beauty and a liquid highlight that I actually kept kicking around to be a blush because this was not a highlight for me. This is in the shade Captivate. And while it is beautiful, I just really don't find myself reaching for this as a blush. So I think I'll give it to one of my friends that will get more use out of it. And these are the last three blushes I have to talk about. We have Joy, Love, and Faith. Faith I don't use a ton, and I do have that purple I'm keeping in the Melting Blush formula that I do prefer a little bit over this formula, so I'm gonna declutter the purple one. However, I do really enjoy um, Joy and Faith. I think they're really cute colors. I'm very happy with them. I love this kind of burnt orange shade, and this corally pink is very cute, so I'm gonna keep these ones. So that one was super easy. Um, I kept seven and decluttered 11, so I cut that one by more than a half. I'm gonna do my final tallies, and I will get back to you with my final numbers. Okay, are you ready for these final numbers? I don't think it's gonna be surprising because I kind of cut every category in half, but out of 108 total blushes, again, including those two melt ones that I don't technically have yet, but I did buy them, out of 108, I'm keeping 55 and I decluttered 53. So that's pretty good. I'm very satisfied with that. I feel like, again, I've been saying this in every video, but I feel like I just have a better idea of what I have what I can use, what I wanna use, and I'm really excited about this. It's less overwhelming, and I'm excited to play with my things. Here is the overview of all 108 things minus those two melt blushes that I don't have yet. Here are the 53 things that I did declutter, and here are the 55 things that I am keeping, again, minus those melt blushes. I'm very excited, this was satisfying. I'm very happy. <laughs>
All right, I hope you enjoyed that little blush collection and declutter. I'm excited to have my collection curated down a bit more and just kind of purging away the things that I no longer needed. I would love to know what your favorite blushes are. Do you love any of the ones I talked about today? What are your favorite ones that I don't have? I would love to hear all your thoughts down below. If you made it to the end of this video, leave me an emoji that represents the color of blush you prefer, whether it's pink or peach or purple or red or orange, you know, all the things. Leave me an emoji to represent that. And if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Batty Bean fam. I am Batty Bean on everything. I post every day on Instagram and I'm pretty active on TikTok and Twitter as well. And if you want, you can subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. I'm posting every single day up until Christmas. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.